Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. And we are on May 13th, 2021. And welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew, where today we're going to start it out different. We're going to start out looking at earthquakes as we have had quite an increase in earthquakes. And just recently, we did have a 6.0 earthquake in Japan, Nami, Japan. And a quick aftershock shortly thereafter. One at a 43 kilometer depth. And then the 32 kilometer depth was the 6.0 earthquake in Nami, Japan. And just recently, seeing another one here at Curl or south of Rat Islands, a 4.5 there, Aleutian Islands recently, and very active all across from Alaska through the Curl Islands, Japan sizable 6.0 today we've had many sixes over the past 24 hours gee i wonder why and i had warned and i have been updating every day looking at a 4.7 here the border with china and india as well a 4.7 just recently afghanistan dominican republic puerto rico still seeing earthquake swarm we're looking at 310 earthquakes the last 24 hours across the planet. As well, we started the day off here with a 6.0 in Panama. A 4.7 followed shortly thereafter. So 6.0 followed by 4.7 there. 6.0 followed by a 4.4 in Japan. As well, we saw some activity throughout the Philippines. 5.5 or sorry, that's Indonesia, north of Indonesia, right into the Marianas Trench Plate, as well, 5.2 here, Papua New Guinea, and then a couple deep earthquakes here today, and we've been, I've been kind of expecting the deep earthquakes, and let's just check out the depth here, so yeah, 424 kilometer depth, as well, the 557 kilometer depth, that was from last night, Hawaii seeing some minor rumbles today as well. Largest being a 2.8. Then over in the United States, we did have a 3.2 that rang off uh, Oregon. Ferndale, actually, I think. And there was just recently another one I just noticed. A 3.0 here. That's the Ferndale, California. 3.0, 3.2. So nothing major to report. North America... South America, they saw the uh, Panama 5.2, and then uh, east of Panama towards Colombia as well, a 4.3. And then southward, Peru seeing a 4.3, and Chile 4.7. Quiet across the North, uh, African plate. Quiet through the Atlantic plate kind of wonder what's happening there a lot of pressure is being released in Iceland that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes give a quick look here the last seven days boom oh let's just take those numbers off there we'll take the magnitude off that's a little bit messy here's the last seven days for earthquakes around the world Watching things really start to increase, especially since we've been whacked with the space weather over the past 24 to 36 hours. Quite an amazing time to be alive, especially just being able to document and share with all of my friends and family from around the world, all of you guys. Thanks for joining. Let's have a quick look at our sun for today. Starting out, 304 angstroms, 2 Earth-facing sunspots, and another one coming in as I was watching. So we most likely will have three Earth-facing sunspots here quickly, and it looks like AR2822 is not done yet. It looks like it's just about to release something here in the last few images. Same with the bottom one here. So stay tuned to the do. I will be keeping you 
aware and prepared to all the changing dynamics of our sun. Let's have a quick look here at the multi-spectrum. Multi look at the big picture here. And again, I want to thank you all for watching The Daily Do, keeping you aware and prepared with extreme weather events, space weather events, earthquakes, volcanoes, floods, fires, droughts, hurricanes, cyclones, anything affecting humanity. Don't forget to smash that like button and share with your family. Appreciate you, because without you, there is no do. Let's have a quick look at another light. And you can see that there is a big coronal hole building here on the coming western limb of the sun. In between this active 2A22 and another one coming in here, which I forget the number. So we've got one, two, three now sunspots quite active on our sun. Let's have a look at Lasco 2 and Lasco 3 here for the past 48 hours. Actually, we're going to leave that up there. So nothing major to report right now you can see there in the last few frames there that 2822 did release a flare let's get a closer look here oh yeah definitely in those last two images there That is an Earth-facing CME. Pop right there. And you can see a full halo around. We already have the energy that's incoming. And now we've got another CME. Interesting. I thought it was going to do something. There were a couple other people in the live streams that were saying, it's not done. I, and I'd have to agree. I would have to agree. Have a quick look at our real-time solar wind. Which is average after considering what we've been through. We're going to put up here to the last three days. So you can see it did jump up. We did have a spike to almost 530 kilometers per second. But now we're back down to... We're, we're back down to about 400. And we topped out 533. But look at the separation here. Northern, southern polarities. The phi angle flip. The density... And the temperature, wow, like it's it's very sporadic. It's not just the wind that's coming at us. There's plasma, there's a lot of energy coming at us right now. Let's have a quick look at the Schumann resonance for today. We're sitting at a power of 55, star power 68. Nice spike again, just like yesterday, but kind of a double punch. Got a combo happening here with the Schumann resonance. Amplitude of 68, frequency max of 7.9. Now something else I wanted to point out, and which I've been documenting over the last little bit, is the moisture and how it's increasing. There's more cloud cover, and the equatorial moisture is now spreading wider. And this is a pattern that I've been noticing over the past little while. This is something I wanted to share with you, especially as we watch this tropical cyclone form 
coming into India and most likely will be a Category 4 cyclone by the time it makes landfall. And right and tucked up into the corner there, it may just like just ravage the, the shoreline here. It's still early in the forecast. But that could be a doozy of a storm heading into India. And they've got enough problems already. I mean, the world's got enough problems already. Much love to you all. And, and thank you for joining. I'm so happy and grateful to have you all watching right now. Thank you. So that's it, folks. World weather update. There is not much more to talk about. Not much more to talk about at all. Not much is going to change. We still have yet to get a full forecast for the cyclone heading into India. Just going to give a closer look here. USGS earthquakes across North America. No major developing microquakes or uh, swarms to talk about. But these three most recent earthquakes, they're a little bit, uh, a little bit close to the fault lines. This one here, right on the San Andreas Fault, Parkfield, 1.3. This one here, what's this? The, the Calaveras Fault, 1.5. That's pretty close to the San Andreas. And then we're, we follow the San Andreas, and it goes right up into. Oh, yeah, Juan de Fuca. <laughs> Ferndale 3.0. And as well, the 3.0, 3.2 in Oregon. So please, stay aware and prepared, everybody. Just have a plan. Be ready. Keeping humanity aware and prepared. This has been Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide. Thank you so much for watching today. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning dew. Bye-bye now. Much love for humanity. God bless.